Joining me live now in the studio is the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers. Treasurer, thanks for your time. You're saying... It's been a whole three days, Kieran, since we last hung out. It's been ages. <laughs> and you said within striking distance. You're within striking distance. So I want to... Obviously getting a surplus in, in May. I want to put it in terms that... Uh, I know you're a Broncos fan, but you're basically... Billy Walters from the Broncos with the ball five metres out, and all you have to do is not drop it, and you'll have a surplus. That's fair enough, isn't it? Oh, well, the, my last Broncos experience wasn't terrific in the uh, GF last year, so I I, uh, I don't enjoy the reminder. Um, but, oh, look, we are within striking distance uh, of a second surplus, but we're not there yet. And there's good reasons to be careful and cautious about it. You know, part of the reason is because our predecessors, you know, made the mugs and over-promised and under-delivered and they were humiliated in the end when they didn't get a surplus after nine cracks at it. Uh, we've delivered a surplus already. Uh, we're within striking distance of a second one. But there's a lot of volatility in revenue. There's a lot of uncertainty, particularly in the global economy, and so it pays to be cautious and conservative, and that's what we're doing. Yep, no worries. Well, I, I guess that makes sense, given recent history for for Josh Frydenberg, also Labor as well with the GFC many, many moons ago. But uh, you've banked more than 90% of the revenue upgrades. How important is it to you as we look back at that history, back through the, the Howard period and beyond? Because as, far, as long as I can remember in this place, Labor's struggled to hold that mantle of the better economic manager. Is that important to you personally? But is it important politically as well? Oh, both. Uh, it's very, very important. You know, my mission really is to entrench uh, Labor as the party of responsible economic management. I'm very serious about that. Uh, and not just for political reasons, but for economic reasons. There are good economic reasons to run a tight ship when it comes to the budget. That's what Katie Gallagher and I are doing. We want to get the budget in much better nick, and we are. Part of that is avoiding interest costs. Part of it is putting downward pressure on inflation. But also we want to make room for our priorities, cost of living help investing in the future of the economy. Uh, and so what we've been able to do today is consistent with what we've done in the first two budgets, get the budget in much better shape uh, so that we can put that downward pressure on inflation so we can fund our priorities, so we can avoid a lot of these debt and interest costs and so we can continue to clean up the mess that Angus Taylor and others left behind. Angus Taylor was on the program earlier. He says that it's spin from you suggesting that you're banking 90% of the upgraded revenue since the May budget, looking at uh, parameter variations is how he put it, but basically increases in payments for people on welfare and so on. What's your reaction to that? Well, as I understand it, Angus Taylor was saying uh, that uh, there is a lot of spending in the budget. Uh, a lot of that is uh, parameter variations, which is really the indexation on pensions and payments. You know, that is a big part of the extra money in the budget. And so if he is saying that we shouldn't be doing that spending, he should say so. If he is going to end the indexation of pensions and payments, he should be upfront with people and say so. And if he's not going to end that, uh, then he should be honest with people and say that whoever was in office would be up for those parameter variations that we saw in the budget. But more broadly, Kieran, you know, I'm not taking lectures on responsible economic management from the party that delivered nothing but deficits, a trillion dollars of debt, uh, and had absolutely no savings in their last budget. You know, we are turning things around. There has been an historic turnaround in the budget, partly as a consequence of our efforts to get the budget in much better nick. The sorts of responsible economic management, which is a defining feature of this government, would be completely unrecognisable to Angus and his ilk.